All right, so today I'm doing an IAG air to oil separator street series. The install seems pretty straightforward, but I know that it's very tedious. It's supposed to go over here in this corner. I'm probably gonna have to move some of this piping. I hope that it fits because I don't know if that piping is actually in the way, but it might be. I've got some directions downloaded on my phone off the IAG website, so I'll link that if I remember to. Okay, so what you're gonna find is a ton of hoses. Um, there's fittings in here, and here's the separator itself. It's a very small little item here. Super nice bright red color, comes in red and black. I just got the red because I have the red accents under my hood. All these hoses and fittings, cool sticker for an extra 5,000 horsepower. So I'm just gonna start out by getting all this shit out of the way. And I just need to make sure that over here there's enough room for the separator itself because that's where it sits. This is coming out, this is coming out, this is coming out. Okay, so reading the directions, now I've gotta start moving hoses. I think I have enough room to get started here. Seems like a pretty complicated process if you're not too knowledgeable. I'm gonna try my best here and see what I can do. It's supposed to mount right over here, but there's a big fat wiring harness right there, so I hope that the, that the uh, directions will tell me how to get around that. Okay, if, if you're gonna do this, make sure the engine's out of the car and in the sky somewhere where there's plenty of room to do anything at all. I have to get down a line in here. There's a line in here and I tried pulling it off. Instead of it coming off, it started to shred. So that's really cool. And there's probably about this much room in there. This much, now this much, there's this much room. The space between my fingers is how much room I have. This is so ridiculous. This is one hose and it's taking me 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. Luckily I get to take this whole thing out too. You know, taking everything out that you put back in. I don't even know that, I, I don't even think I have the room to get in there, I don't. Sweet. Okay, now there's a tiny little baby line over here that I have to take off, which I don't think will be as hard, but then it goes down under here, underneath all the 15 billion wires that are in here. Hey, John, I got a quick question for you about a product that I'm installing. Okay. Um, I'm doing an air to oil separator um, for my 2011 Subaru WRX. I'm at a blow by sensor and I unplugged it. And I don't know if I should be pulling out both the gray and the white end of the sensor or just the white end. So um, on the blow by sensor, you're pulling out the white sensor itself. In the white sensor, you're going to pull the red pin out of that. Okay. Stick them back into the uh, gray connector, tape it up, put it away, and then just ditch that white blow by sensor. Okay, so, the, so that just kind of tricks the computer into thinking that it's still plugged in. Yep, because it doesn't do a damn thing, and all it needs to see is that it's plugged in. <laughs> okay. All right, man. All right, cool. Thank you. I swear on everything, Subaru puts these clamps in the worst places so that you can't access them, so that you have to go to the dealership and say, hey, I can't get this clamp off, I need a new hose, can you please take the clamp off? Okay, we'll sell you the hose, give us $500 and you'll get a new hose. Do you want, first off, look at this fucking clamp. I don't even know how to show you because there's no room. So what the guy just told me on the phone is that there's a prong in here. So you pull it out with some, I use some needle nose pliers, and then you just kind of plug it in to where it went before so that it eliminates a check engine light and it kind of tricks the computer into thinking that it's plugged in. So I'll just cover it with electrical tape and I'll call it a day on that. That little tiny 90 degree fitting right there was such a pain in the fucking ass. These people here do these car videos and they like put $15,000 worth of shit on their cars and it's like, it's like easy for them and I just don't understand it because this is, that little thing was just, it, it took me about 20 25 minutes. This is just a little tip here, so I have to cap off that little pipe right there. It's right under my finger. Just put something underneath whatever you're working on, so if you drop your little pieces, they'll land somewhere where you can easily get them. I have a little paper towel under there so that it'll catch whatever I drop. It's been three hours and I'm on step 11 out of 46. I have barely done anything. I put a fitting on, I took a sensor out, I took three hoses out, I put a cap on the end of another hose, and now I'm trying to put a fitting on the end of another hose. It's so tedious and so tiny, you, you need to have a shrink ray and you have to shrink yourself in order, in order to do it because it doesn't, the, the, the directions tell you how to do it right, but first off, they're taking pictures from, from back behind the motor and taking it towards the front of the car. So it's like they worked on it from inside the car. I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it. So far, I've taken all the shit off that I had to take off, all the hoses, I had to take off the wiring harness, well, I had to take the wiring harness off its mount. Taking it off, the bracket sucked because it was rotted, and in the photos and the directions, it's also so rotted so if you're doing it you're gonna have a hard time because yours is probably rotted so I'm basically just installing all the lines onto the air to oil separator itself make sure you have a tape measure because it does have it does give you measurements for the lines different size fittings you need some allen wrenches which I have over there I'm gonna show you kind of what I've had to do so far there's a couple of lines down here down in there that I had to take out 
have to, I had to put on a line up there underneath that giant wiring harness right there. Everything has to be secured down with zip ties. Again, there's no room to do anything, so you gotta be really patient. Unfortunately, I'm not that type of person, so this really sucks for me. A couple of lines had to come off from over here, and there's a bunch of stuff that's on the back of the uh, intake manifold that you have to take off. That stuff got really, really hard. And right down in by the turbo there, there's a few lines that you have to take off. It's, it's a really tedious procedure here, so um, just have some patience. The directions, there's some parts of the, of the directions that don't, they're not really descriptive. You'll find a way around what it's telling you. I think that it has directions for an older model of the AOS that they put out originally, and it's been updated since, but the directions have not been updated since. So I'm putting the separator together, and this is a line that comes with it. You're supposed to put it onto this Y. This line is too short. I mean, you'll find out if you use it, but it gets right in the way of a plug. Had a parts car outside that has the same size line on it. Um, you'll just need something a little bit longer. In my case, this goes right in front of a plug that I need to plug back in. I had to remove it to make some space so I can do my work, but it just gets right in the way. So this will work. Uh, maybe just get like some sort of, maybe just get the same line, but just a little bit longer so that you have room to play with so that you can get the stuff out of the way. How to take this bracket off the transmission. All it was doing was holding on nothing, so I took it off. If you're following the directions, the blow-by sensor comes out and this half inch 90 degree angle fitting goes into that place where the blow-by sensor came out of. Following the instructions, once you get a little further into the process, it tells you to put a hose on the other end of the 90 degree angle. But if you look how tight this is, it's expanding the hose. Put the hose on there first and then put the 90 degree angle into the place where it goes, which is somewhere down in here, um, right where the blow-by sensor was, like I said before. But I found it incredibly difficult to have enough room to push on the back of the corner here and to also push the hose on. Also through this process, I'm finding that it's easier to put the zip ties they provide for you on the hose before you actually get it onto the fitting. Because once it's onto the fitting, it's, it's, easier to just, it's easier to just move the zip tie to the edge of the fitting and then tighten it, as opposed to getting around all the other hoses and trying to find a spot for the zip tie. This bullshit is finally finished. Everything is routed to where it has to go. I gotta put all my shit back, but um, the lines are finally done. They're where they have to be. I don't know if that will be a problem, but I don't have another way of doing it. So this is done. Um, I will tell you right now, it was incredibly difficult for me. I don't, you know, some people might have an easier time doing it, but I, it was very hard for me to do it. There's not a lot of space. You really need to have patience to do it. It takes a long, long time. I mean, these little lines, there's little tiny lines down there that have to come off, little lines behind the uh, intake manifold that have to come off. The wiring harness has to come off. They give you a new one to mount it, but it's really, really tight, so you're bending all your wires. Yeah, just follow the directions. You, you'll find that it's a little easier if you do it, but there are some spots where it gets a little tricky and it gets a little hard to follow. Like this line here, for example, right off the top. There's a line that goes down into there underneath the intake manifold. They, they try to have you assemble that in a different way, but they send it to you already assembled. So just little things like that kind of, kind of throw you off. So just be careful and watch what you're doing. 